Guys, a lot of you have stated that uh, you don't really know what the uh, what the free for profit beats are. All right, you don't really know uh, if if it's good to post them, if it's good to not post them, if it's good to um, you know just post some premium beats. But in this video, I'll explain every single thing about the premium beats. I'm also going to explain about free for profit type beats, and should you make free for profit beats or should you make uh, premium beats? Um, I'm going to be talking about all that in this video. So guys, make sure you, you stick till the end because uh, I'm about to, to reveal a lot of things. A lot of your doubts uh, will be cleared uh, because a lot of you have stated that you have not po ever posted them. You have uh, you don't really know a lot about them. So I'm going to be uh, covering all that in this video. But guys, before I start this video, I just want to quickly mention that uh, if you haven't subscribed to my videos, I'm sorry, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so you get the opportunity to watch my videos before anyone else. All right. But with that being said, guys, let's just get jump right into the video. All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing you in this video uh, what exactly is our free for profit type beats. So a free for profit type beats are the beats that are given for free for a limited time. All right or for some kind of uh, some kind of uh, in exchange of something, right? So why do producers, you know, give free beats to art artists? Uh, well, simple reason is uh, they exchange it for a sub subscribe subscription. They exchange it for a like, they, ex they exchange it for emails, or they uh, exchange it for other social media uh, follow, right? So to increase their followers. All right, this is why they, they make free for profit type beats. This is why they make, uh, this is why they sell uh, beats for free. But guys, is it a good strategy? Is it something that you can uh, make money from? Well, you can actually go ahead and make money from this because uh, a lot of the time the, the tag right there, free for profit, uh, doesn't actually mean that the beat is fully free for, free for profit, like completely free for profit, right? A lot of the time producers, uh, when they put free for profit tag, uh, they actually mean that the, the, the beat is only free uh, on certain platforms. For, so for example, if I go right here and uh, so like Matthew May, uh, Matthew May, one of the producers who make, uh, who has quite a lot of uh, uh, subscriptions and has a lot of that uh, leverage in the YouTube uh, free for profit uh, tag, right? A lot of the views uh, he's getting. So if I click on any any one of his videos and just uh, see right here, so his usual detail right there is uh, state that this beat is available uh, free on YouTube and SoundCloud. So he's stating right here that uh, you cannot use this beat for, uh, you know, on Spotify or uh, on Apple Music without buying a lease, right? Um, and then a lot of people actually do buy the lease uh, i'm pretty sure matthew can actually go ahead and let me know in the comments if matthew are watching this video a lot of people are actually uh buy the lease right a lot of people buy the uh the the license why because you know simple reason is uh once they make a song and they put it on youtube and put it on soundcloud uh they see that number going up right a lot of the time the, the producers do get a lot of the i'm sorry the artists get a lot of views and say um and uh, likes on youtube and soundcloud or well, they think that maybe that that same number can be uh, applied on the spotify and apple as well where they can actually earn money so they go ahead and end up buying a lease to distribute the music on these platforms and a lot of the time it actually works quite well however i'm, I'm going to be uh, telling you in this video uh, that uh I, I think uh, free for profit type beats are actually okay to make. They're, they're fine to make, right? They're uh, they they can bring you some of that sales. However, in this video, um, I'm actually going going to go ahead and uh, talk about both of the the pros and cons. So I talked about the pros here, right there. Uh, I showed one example, Matthew May, right here. I'm also going to show you one more example here. Uh, it's going to be the. So uh, Caps Control is one of the other uh, producer who has the, um, 
who actually got the quite a lot of subs and quite a lot of sales as well. I'm pretty sure he's getting a ton of sales and a ton of uh, views uh, from this uh, from this tag right there. Now, Caps Control right here. I have been watching his videos. I've been uh, listening to his beats for a long time, and I personally thought his music was quite uh, quite the quality one uh, to be given away for free, just like that he was doing. Uh, and as you can see, he's also doing this, uh, the same thing here. The only thing that, uh, that he's doing is going to be, uh, he's not actually, he's actually uh, putting it free to use on all platforms, which is what made me think, uh, why would you do that, right? But uh, he's doing it and he's actually getting a ton of views. Uh, he's probably getting a ton of uh, uh, the advertisement revenue from YouTube. I don't know how he actually, how much he, he sells, I'm not sure, but uh, I think get, getting some of that views, some of that uh, sales as well. If Caps, you're watching this video, please let, let us know. Uh, not how much you're earning, but uh, are you actually getting uh, sales uh, from your beats? Uh, if you can, if you're watching this video. But, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm, I think a, a lot of these producers are actually getting a ton of views, a ton of uh, sales. However, is it, uh, is it really a good strategy in the long term? That's what I'm asking. No, I don't think that's a good strategy in the long term. Why? Well, because I just think of it. If you're giving away your beast for free, you're going to be known uh, as the, 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 the dude who's posting beats for free, right? So your product is not going to be as, as, uh, as valuable to people, right? As, as uh, I would say, as uh, ex expensive. You can't really charge 120, 130. $200 for a single lease. You can't charge that kind of money because the, the audience that you're attracting is going to be, is not going to be as a heavy wallet, right? They're not going to have that kind of heavy wallet, right? The wallet is going to be quite thin uh, on the contrary. And you're going to be attracting that kind of audience because uh, that kind of audience actually search for that type of beats, right? However, um, if you actually think that this is something that you can do, uh, that uh, you don't care about uh, the long term, uh, you, that uh, you don't want to be known as the, the next Nick Mirror. For example, Nick Mirror right here, uh, I just named him. He, he's never going to sell his beats uh, on uh, on YouTube or on uh, BeatStars. He probably used to do do these things, but now he's not going to do that because um, he doesn't want to oversaturate his own market, right? His own market is going to get oversaturated uh, by his own sound. Right, a lot of the beats. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of the songs are gonna have his sound, his uh, uh, the way he makes music. So he he will end up oversaturating his own market. That's not what you want to do uh, in the long term, okay? But if you're not looking for the long term uh, gains, you're looking to be someone who's uh, some someone like Apple, for example, right? If you're looking to be as valuable as Apple, making free beats is not gonna be uh, is not gonna be very good in the long term. It's not going to be good in the long term. It's good in the short term. It's not good in long term. All right. So that's what I want to, uh, uh, you know, throw some light at. And I, and I hope you guys actually got this. Uh, uh, you got you guys understood what I mean. All right. So here I have the calculator. And now uh, if let's just um, get a normal number here. So if I, if a producer right here is getting 100,000 views, all right. That's a that's a quite a average number of views uh, that a producer can get. Most of the the uh, established producers are going to get uh, somewhere between hundred thousand to one million views every single month. Right? So let's just say let's just keep the number a little uh, conservative. Okay. So if a producer is getting hundred k views, we multiply that by uh, zero point zero 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 one, right? That's this is a very very short number. And we multiply that by uh, 30, which is going to be the uh, the normal, uh, the very very normal uh, lease price. Now we get the number that's going to be $300. And if you're getting 100,000 views and you're running a free for profit type B channel, uh, you're going to be making somewhere around $300 to uh, seven, eight, nine, one thousand dollars, right? 300 to to one thousand dollars per month you're going to be making if you're getting 100 k 100,000 views and that's my estimate right there and that's a very small and conservative estimate that's why I use the uh, low number and a high number 
Uh, if you're getting 100k views, you're gonna be making somewhere around 300 to 1,000 every single month if you're uh, selling free for profit type piece. Okay. And if you're making, uh, you can, uh, if you're making, let's just say premium beasts, right? You can just go ahead and add one more zero here. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be $3,000. So you're going to be earning $3,000. If you're, um, if you're making a hundred, if you're getting hundred K views every single month, you're going to be making somewhere around 3000 to uh, $5,000. That's a, that's an estimate right there, right? It's not a perfect number, but it's an estimate, uh, and give you an idea. Uh, of uh, how much, how much uh, you know, average producers actually earn. All right. So guys, uh, that I that's all I have to talk in this video, and I quickly want to make sure that you understand that uh, free for profit type beats uh, are good for the short term, are not good for the long term. Okay. So if you're in this game for for a short while, you want to do something else in your life. You're not here for for a long time. Go ahead and make free for profit type beats. Go ahead and make your beats, uh, uh, you know, less valuable. Right? That's not a bad thing. I'm not gonna bash you on that. No, I'm not gonna say anything about it because I I, I can understand, guys. Right? I can understand where you're coming from. Right? Um, a lot of people are actually. It's not actually the the only thing that's only in the in the production area. Right? It's not it's it's not exclusive to uh beats selling marketplaces it's uh it's something that youtube is also sort of going going uh, uh through right here youtube is not earning money uh from itself right for those you don't know youtube is actually uh losing a ton of money uh google is losing a ton of money with youtube and uh i watched some of the videos here i'm not actually uh making this up i actually watched a few videos about that and they were all saying the same thing and youtube is actually not a profitable business for google however youtube is still out here youtube is still the number one uh, platform because google does not care about uh, money as much because it's a very very expensive company right it's a very rich company but is it the number one uh, most expensive company no it's not apple is the number one most expensive company why because of limited uh, you know limited uh, products because of limited uh, sales however these products are actually very expensive right very premium the name brand the, the 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 status everything is there with Apple right that's the business model of Apple and they're making a ton of money however Google is also making a ton of money Google's business model is completely different okay so like uh, Matthew May right there uh, he, he stated I talked to him, talk to him he also stated the same thing that uh, it's a business model. It's a completely different business model, and I kind of get it, get that. Uh, so uh, shout out to Matthew for uh, saying that. But yeah, I kind of get that. It's a completely different business model. Premium beats and free beats are completely different business models, and they're going to be completely different uh, audience that is going to be there. So if you're in there for a long term, go, guys, go ahead and go for premium beats. Make sure you make your uh, make sure you make the the uh, I would say your your persona to be a premium guy right you want to be the apple of uh of a uh, beat selling marketplace if you're in there for the long term if you if you if you want to do something else guys i don't know get married may have a have a family i don't know guys uh if you're in there for a short term guys you can sell free beats uh to produce uh, i'm sorry to sellers to uh to artists it's not a bad thing. It's something that uh, a lot of companies do and you can do it as well. The choices right there is yours. Uh, I would, if you were to make premium beats, uh, the, the long-term gain is quite high. It's quite high, right? So you're, make, you're probably gonna be making seven figures, six figures, eight figures. Uh, if you're in there, if you can't stick, uh, stick around till, the, till that time, right? Everything is gonna be working for you for, if you're making premium products, right? If you can stick around, Right? That's that's uh, the main key. If you've had the patience, patience brings more money. Uh, that's what I've learned. If I've learned anything, uh, if you can learn anything from this channel, it's that patience. You have to have patience. If you don't have patience, uh, the the kind of uh, gains are not going to be as, as as quite high. Right? It's going to be there, but it's not going to be as high as uh, the, the ones who are are patient. Okay. 
Well, with that being said, guys, um, I'm going to be wrapping things up here. And, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe, hit the bell and let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, you guys don't really talk too much in the comments, right? It's quite lonely in the comments, guys. Go ahead and make, make some noise over there. <laughs> All right. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.